regulation of the citric acid or Krebs cycle or TCA cycle. So the TCA cycle or the Krebs cycle is regulated in accordance to the energy state of the cell. So the first example of this is when we have high levels of citrate within the cell. This itself produces a negative feedback loop whereby high levels of citrate inhibit the enzyme citrate synthase, preventing further citrate being produced. This in turn means less isocitrate will be produced and then less alpha-ketoglutarate and so on. Another point to note is in the reaction between isocitrate and, uh, well, the conversion of isocitrate to alpha-ketoglutarate. So if we have high NADH levels or high ATP levels, this will inhibit this reaction. However, if we have high ADP levels and high calcium levels, this will favor the reaction. And in the conversion of alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA, high NADH and high succinyl-CoA will inhibit the reaction going forward or reduce the amount of it going forward. And high levels of calcium will favor the reaction. Now, as I said before, it responds, the regulation responds to different energy states of the cell. So high energy states are characterized by high levels of ATP or also by low levels of ADP or inorganic phosphate. So when this happens, it leads to less oxidative phosphorylation or the electron transport chain occurring. And this leads to less oxidation of NADH which means there'll be more NADH available and then this will eventually reduce TCA cycle because high NADH means these reactions here will be inhibited. So the low energy and energy states of the cell, these are characterized by low levels of ATP and also by high levels of ADP, AMP or inorganic phosphate. And this leads to increased oxidative phosphorylation or increased activity within the electron transport chain. And then this leads to more oxidation of NADH, which in turn reduces the amount of NADH, therefore leading to increased TCA cycle activity. Now, another point to mention is calcium's involvement within the TCA cycle. Uh, calcium, increased levels of calcium favor the consumption of oxygen by the mi mitochondria, which eventually result in increased activity of the citric acid cycle. That's everything on the regulation of the TCA cycle. Thanks very much for watching.